Good day, Grade Twelves. Welcome to the third lesson in Week Thirty. We're carrying on looking at work from the first two terms to make sure that you're prepared for the September exam. Remember, last week we looked at the work specifically from this last term. So it says a wooden block of mass two kilograms moving at a velocity of five meters per second collides with a crate of nine kilograms resting at on a flat horizontal surface. After the collision, the crate moves on with at one meter per second, and it says ignore the effect of friction. Awesome. And it says write down the principle of conservation of linear momentum in words. So if you didn't know already, this is to do with linear momentum. So the conservation principle of conservation of linear momentum states that linear momentum will remain conserved in an isolated system. A different way of saying it is that momentum before collision is equal to momentum after a collision in an isolated system. In an isolated system is very important in both those definitions. So 4.1 we've done. Now it says calculate the magnitude of the velocity of the wooden block, this velocity, immediately after the collision. So we've got this guy and we've got this guy. So here's a wooden block. So we're going to say block, call him B and C for crate. Now what do we know? We know that P before equals P after. And now we have to write in the letters and things that everybody freaks out about, but we're going to take it nice and slowly. We're going to say the mass of the wooden block times the initial velocity of the wooden block plus the mass of the crate times the initial velocity of the wooden crate is equal to the mass of the block, the final velocity of the block plus the mass of the crate, final velocity of the crate. And these are all separate because none of the blocks and crates stick together. They all remain separate. Okay. Now you guys might be saying, well, why do I have to fill this guy in? He's zero. It's obviously zero because he was stationary. It says that he was stationary, resting on a flat. Guys, if you don't write this in and you substitute in, in incorrectly, then they can't give you any method marks. So you have to write it down so that you can show what you know what you're doing. And then if you substitute in incorrectly, then at least they can say, oh, silly person put a two instead of a five. I can mark them wrong for that, but then I can carry on marking and give them marks for the rest of the question. Now, if, if you don't write that, they don't know that you just made a silly typo with your writing and they can't give you any marks. So please guys, write down every step and well not every step but definitely write down this step because also there are marks allocated for you showing that you know that it is conservation of linear momentum. Right now we can fill this in. So the mass of the block is 2. Oh, we need to choose a direction as being positive and since the initial direction is to the right I'm going to choose to the right as positive. Okay. So the mass of the block is 2, the initial velocity of the block is 5, plus now you can write naught because it is stationary, is equal to the mass of the block which is 2, the final velocity of the block is what we're trying to find out, plus the mass of the crate is, what is that, 8? Oh, it's 9. 9 times by the velocity of 1. And now we just solve for this VFB. So that there is 10 is equal to 2 VFB plus 9, so we take it across, it becomes 1 is equal to 2 F VFB, so therefore VFB is equal to 0, 0,5 meters per second. And they've asked you just for the magnitude of the velocity, so you don't even have to give the direction. But this is actually, because it's positive, it's going to be to the right. But they didn't ask you, so you just have to write 0, 0,5 meters per second. How cool is that? Now it says, if the collision lasts 0 0.6 seconds, calculate the force the wooden block exerts on the crate during the collision. Okay, so we know that F delta T is equal to M delta V. Guys, we know about momentum. Momentum is, change momentum is P delta P, which is M delta V. We know about impulse, which is F delta T. As soon as they mention forces and time when we're looking at momentum, you are going to be using this equation. There's a, almost a 100% guarantee we're going to be using this equation. Okay. 
So it says, if the collision lasts 0.6 seconds, calculate the force the wooden block exerts on the crate during the collision. Now it doesn't matter if you choose to use the crate or the wooden block for this change. You just have to use only one. So you can use the wooden block change in momentum or you can use the crate's change in momentum. Either way, you're going to get the right answer. Okay. So it says calculate the force the wooden block exerts on the crate. So I am going to choose the wooden block. So we want if the time is 0,6, the mass of the wooden block is 2, and remember delta V is VF minus VI. So that is going to be 0,5 minus 5. So therefore F is going to be 2 times a minus 4,5 all over 0,6. So then what do we need to do? We need to just put that in a calculator. So we've got 2 times 4.5 equals divided by 0 0.6 equals 15. And so it's negative 15 newtons. I didn't bother to put the minus in because I know that the minus stays. So the force, calculate the force. The force is negative 15 units, newtons. And it says calculate the force the wooden block exerts on the crate during this collision. But the crate is traveling forwards every time. So this is not negative 15, it's actually 15 newtons. Because remember the minus just gives you directions. So it's 15 newtons to the right. Okay, great tools. So that's a typical type of question that you can get on momentum and impulse and change momentum. Please go practice this section. It's actually very important. And then go do the questions in the turn system. Have a great day.